The following video is not endorsed by the Philadelphia Eagles nor the NFL. here and I thought I'd bring you a new vlog for Lewis's Adventures. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Today, I'm going to talk about my trip down to, to Lincoln Financial Field with my father to see the Philadelphia Eagles play the Minnesota Vikings in the final preseason game before the start of the regular season. As you see here, my father is driving down I-95 to the sports complex. On the way, as you see here, traffic was congested because of the game. It even got worse as we headed towards the stadium. As you'll see in a few seconds, traffic was at a standstill, and you can see Lincoln Financial Field in the background. It took us about 30 minutes to find parking, and things were still at a standstill. It was hectic, but as you'll see at the end, we finally did get parking which we ended up parking in the parking lot of Citizens Bank Park the home of the Philadelphia Phillies then afterwards my father and I had to walk to Lincoln Financial Field and then afterwards we finally did get to the stadium but of course, when we got inside, the game had already started. And you're gonna see in a few moments that we finally got to our seats. And you see here, the Eagles weren't exactly sharp, but though this is preseason, and in the end, it was still a fun day. And I will continue after this part to, to talk about the rest of the game. I'm here at Lincoln Financial Field with my father and we are watching the Eagles take on the Minnesota Vikings in preseason play. And so far, this place is so electric. Before I get into explaining further details of how the game went. You see there, there's the Eagles cheerleaders, and there's a replay of one of the plays that were made. Even though the Eagles were struggling and only managed to get three points on the board as a result of a field goal, it still was a fun time. And as you see here, the Eagles are wearing their road white jerseys and the Vikings are wearing their purple home jerseys for this game. And there's some dancing from the Eagles cheerleaders, which they always provide some entertainment besides the players. Without these amazing ladies and sometimes gentlemen, 
Eagles games wouldn't be fun to watch. The only time the Eagles were able to get on the board was the result of one field goal, which unfortunately that's what they managed to do. There were a couple of turno turnovers because of a couple of fumbles, and there were a couple of bad calls made by the referee, which should have been first down, but the Eagles didn't make it on fourth down. And unfortunately, the Vikings made the Eagles pay for those said mistakes in the end. But there were still some good moments regardless of the struggles I just managed to talk about and mention. And despite this, it was hot out and if we had to leave in the third quarter, which was because of the weather, and before we I went to the game, I applied some screen to see sunscreen to protect myself out there in the hot weather. Overall, this is my third ever Eagles game I've been to, and hopefully I can go to more of them in the future, as long as my father gets free tickets from his job, which I'm grateful that he did, and I thank him for this wonderful day at Lincoln Financial Field that we had today. I'm changing things up in this vlog. Instead of what I used to do, like shout people out, I decided to talk about what happens at the end of each vlog, and I'm gonna start with, I had to leave in the third, quarter with my father because it was hot out down at Lincoln Financial Field. And unfortunately, the Eagles lost 26-3 to to the Vikings. But though this game doesn't count as this is preseason only, in the coming weeks, the real games will begin. Hopefully it should be a very fun and exciting season for the Eagles. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, threads, Twitch, TikTok, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure.